Hi, my smarty pants. Now we're going to make the video about the frog. Okay, so I've got my paper and it's actually just a half sheet. So you don't even need a whole sheet of paper. I'm going to use my pencil and I'm going to start drawing my frog. Okay, so the easiest way I have found to draw a frog, and you definitely want to use a pencil, is to make an oval. Okay, that'll be his body. All right, I'll go ahead and make that darker so you can see it, even though it's going to be harder for me to erase, but that's okay. And then we're going to put two eyes on top, okay? And then he needs some legs, some really long legs. So I'm going to draw one leg here and give him some pointy fingers, okay? And the other leg next to it. These are his front legs, two, three. Okay, those are about the same length. That's good. And then for his back legs, we're going to do a bump. And then a big foot with pointy toes. And we're just going to draw that all the way back to the body. Okay, same on the other side. Big bump. Big foot with pointy toes. There we go. Now I'm going to erase some of these lines I don't need, like that one. And if you were drawing lightly, this would be super easy. Okay. And I'm going to put some eyeballs and a big smile. Okay. Then I'm going to color him with my marker. All right. And again, you don't have to worry too much about coloring inside the lines because we are going to cut Philippe out. Okay, this is the same marker I used to make my water. All right. You can see it still works just fine. Now his eyeballs, I'm going to be a little bit careful. I'm just going to outline them with the marker and then I can use my black marker to color in his eyeballs. Feet and the other leg. You can also use your black marker to outline it and give you any highlights that you want. Okay, so here's my black marker. His eyeballs. I'm going to use that black marker to draw his smile. I'm also going to use it to draw his legs and his belly. Okay, just makes things stand out better, makes it easier to see. All right. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think they have little nostrils too, so let's put those on there. All right, now I'm ready to cut out my frog. Okay. So there he is, Mr. Happy Philippe. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Okay. And I'm cutting carefully around his pointy toes. Okay, so cut as carefully as you can. Cutting around his leg and his body okay, and his eye. Top of his head, his other eye. And his other leg, I'm almost done. Cut carefully. Okay. Oh boy, I think I almost cut off a toe there. If you cut off a toe or a part by accident, actually I'll do that 
I'll show you what you can do to fix it. It's not hard to fix. So don't worry if you accidentally cut off a toe. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need that scrap. It's getting in my way. Okay. It's so humid today. My little frog is still wet from the marker. He's probably, yep, he's turning my thumb green. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, finish cutting off my foot here. Okay, there we go. Oh no, I cut off his toe. Uh oh. Okay, so I will show you how to fix that because that's a really common mistake. Okay, so there he is. There's the toe that I cut off. Uh oh. All right, so I'll show you how to fix that in the next video. And in the next video, we're going to put it all together. Okay, see you there.